Why do they always do it? They give us these simple, clear-cut rules or definitions, but then in the real world, we often see examples that don't follow those rules or definitions. That happened to me with the verbs ber and mirar. I was taught that ber means to see and mirar means to watch or to look. Simple, clear-cut. But then I would often see examples where to see was translated as mirar and to watch or to look was translated as bear, the opposite of what I learned. Are you confused by the same thing? If so, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you what is going on. Hola, soy Jordan, and this is a Spanish quickie. Fast, easy Spanish lessons from somebody who speaks your language. Right off the bat, you need to know the verb ver is quite irregular. It has tons of irregular conjugations, while the verb mirar is totally regular. If that's news to you, click the link below this video or in the description that says free practice resources. At that link, you'll be able to get your hands on the conjugation charts for both verbs in the present tense, both past tenses, the future tense, and the conditional tense, the five main tenses. You'll understand this video way better if you're at least familiar with those conjugations. Now, before we get to the controversy and confusion, I must say what they tell us about ber and mirar is basically true. Most of the time, the Spanish verb ber does mean to see, and the Spanish verb mirar does mean to watch, to look, or to look at, not only to watch or to look. But that's just most of the time. In reality, it's better to think of that as a rule of thumb, not a rule. Let's start with some simple, not confusing examples with ber. Jimmy saw a bird yesterday. Jimmy bio un pájaro ayer. This is the most literal use of ber when talking about seeing as in perceiving something with our eyes. Do you see how they say ber when we say to see? That's how it usually goes. But ber isn't always used so so literally, like in this example, Jimmy is going to see his friends tomorrow. Jimmy va a ver a sus amigos mañana. This sentence is talking about seeing as in visiting somebody. Once again though, they say ver when we say to see. If you don't understand why it's va a ver, not just va a ver, check out my video called Speak in the Future Without More Conjugation. And if you don't understand why it's ver a sus amigos, not not just ver sus amigos, check out my video called The Personal A ah in Spanish. Links to both videos are below this video or in the description. That goes for any other video I mention in this video. A link to it is below this video or in the description. Another context. We will see what Jimmy thinks about this. Veremos lo que piensa Jimmy sobre esto. This sentence is talking about seeing as in seeing a future outcome. Again, they say ver when when we say to see. And if you don't understand why it's lo que, not just que, check out my video called The Thing About Lo. One more simple context with ber. Do you see what I'm saying? Ves lo que estoy diciendo? This sentence is talking about see as in understand. This basically means do you understand what I'm saying? And yet again, they say ber when we say to see. You getting a feel for this? Ber usually means to see and to see is usually translated as ber, even though ber can be used in many different contexts, just as to see can be used in many different contexts. Now, let's look at some simple, not confusing examples with mirar. The reason mirar can mean to watch, to look, or to look at is, in many contexts, all these English translations mean basically the same thing, to pay attention to something with our eyes. In English, we say whichever sounds better in a particular sentence, or on a whim. For example, Jimmy watched the stars all night means the same thing as Jimmy looked at the stars all night. Both these sentences mean Jimmy directed his eyes to the stars all night, or Jimmy paid attention with his eyes to the stars all night. Regardless of which English word is chosen, this could be translated as Jimmy miró las estrellas toda la noche. Do you see how they say mirar when we say to watch or to look at? 
Another example, Jimmy looked to the left and to the right. Jimmy miró a la izquierda y a la derecha. In the previous example, to watch or to look at was translated as mirar. In this example, just to look is translated as mirar. You getting this? When we say to watch, to look, or to look at, in Spanish, they usually say mirar. One of the most common uses of mirar is when telling somebody to pay attention to something. We do the same thing in English with to look and to look at. Like in this example, look at those airplanes. Mira esos aviones. Once again, they say mirar when we say to look at. Here's a completely different context. The library looks south. La biblioteca mira al sur. This is talking about looking as an orientation. This basically means the library faces south. The front of the library is on the south side of the building. Even though this is a different kind of look, they still say mirar when we say to look. Now, that's just a taste of how ver and mirar can be used. There are more contexts than I've shown you here in which ver and mirar are used. But I think you get the point. In Spanish, by default, they say ver when we say to see, and by default, they say mirar when we say to watch, to look, or to look at. It's time to get into the confusion and controversy. Most of the confusion comes from one situation, when talking about TV shows, movies, or sports games. In English, we often say to watch or to see for TV shows, movies, and sports games. But in Spanish, it's much more common to say ver in this context, even when we say to watch. For example, we could say Jimmy is going to see a movie or Jimmy is going to watch watch a movie. In Spanish, though, it's much more common for both of these sentences to be translated with ver. Jimmy va a ver una película. So, sometimes we say to watch, but they say ver, which breaks our rule of thumb. However, some people in some places would also translate these sentences as Jimmy va a mirar una película. So, in this context, don't be surprised if you see ver or mirar being used, which means don't be surprised if you see ver translated as to watch or mirar translated as to see. That's going to happen. I gotta stress to you though, only some people in some places would translate these sentences with mirar. Many native Spanish speakers will tell you that the translation with mirar is flat out wrong or that it doesn't sound natural, while others will tell you that it's exactly the same as using ver. For that reason, my suggestion is use ver when talking about TV shows, movies, or sports games. But don't be surprised or confused even one little bit if you see or hear mirar being used. Cool? The next most common confusing situation is when talking about how something or somebody looks or how they appear, the verb ver is often used in Spanish even though we say to look in English. This really threw me for a loop the first time I saw it. For example, does this shirt look good? One way to translate this in Spanish is esta camisa se ve bien? This more literally means is this shirt seen well? But this is a common way of saying that something or somebody looks or appears a certain way. Do you see how they say ver when we say to look, the opposite of what we're taught? Notice in this context, the reflexive version of ver is used. Se ve is a reflexive version of ver. When talking about how something or somebody looks or appears, the reflexive version of ver is usually used. Not always, though. If you're not clear on what reflexive verbs are, I have several videos on the topic. Check them out. You know where the link is, right? Those are the two most common situations that break our rule of thumb. When talking about TV shows, movies, or sports games, they say ver way more often than mirar, even though we often say to watch in English. And when talking about how something or somebody looks or appears, they often say ver, even though we say to look in English. You with me? 
Another, less common situation that breaks our rule of thumb is, when talking about analyzing something, they often say ver in Spanish, even though we often say to look at in English. For example, at the meeting, we will look at the report. This more literally means, at the meeting, we will analyze the report. And one way to translate this in Spanish is, en la reunión veremos el informe. This more literally means, at the meeting, we will see the report, but it will commonly be translated as, at the meeting, we will look at the report. See how they say ver when we say to look at, the opposite of what we're taught? Now, the point of this video wasn't to go into all the different uses and translations of ver and mirar. The point of this video was to show you that most of the time they say ver when we say to see, and most of the time they say mirar when we say to watch, to look, or to look at, but not all the time. That way, when you inevitably see ver translated as to watch, to look, or to look at, or mirar translated as to see, the opposite of what we're taught, you're not confused and don't get stuck. Mission accomplished? To help you get all this down, I've created a free practice worksheet for you. Click the link below this video or in the description that says free practice resources and I'll send it to you right away, along with the answer key of course. If you download that practice worksheet and do it, you'll know the difference between ver and mirar forever. If you like this video, please click the like button or the thumbs up button. That'll help get this video out to more people who need it. And if you want to support the Spanish dude, head on over to my website and buy a t-shirt, enroll in a course, or become a lifetime member, which gets you every premium course I offer, now and in the future. I get messages all the time from viewers asking how they can support me. Well, that's how you can support me. Buy a t-shirt, enroll in a course, or become a lifetime member. Links to everything are, you got it, below this video or in the description. Okay, my gringo, in the next video, we're gonna talk about escuchar and oír, a similar but different and more confusing situation. So, I'll see you next time. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo.